I believe Senator Scar, your I thank you. Call. Thank you, Acting uh, Deputy President. Uh, I rise today to uh, speak about the Gurmet Remembrance Day. Now, this day is an extremely important day which commemorates those Indians who were transported as indentured labour from India to, amongst other places, Fiji. And there were between 1879 and 1916, 60,000 Indians were transported as indentured labour between India and sent to Fiji, uh, mainly to work in the sugar industry, in the cane fields. And each year, the Gurmet Remembrance Day recognises what those members of the Indian diaspora went through as indentured labour. So I would like to congratulate firstly the Fiji Gurmet Foundation Australia for putting on a wonderful event to remember uh, those Indians who went to Fiji as indentured labour and many of whose descendants have settled subsequently in Australia. I would also like to sincerely thank and place on the record my thanks to Mr Jachendra Dio and his family who supported the event which I attended through their Dio Family Charitable Foundation. And Jachendra is a wonderful Queenslander and makes a wonderful contribution to our community. And this is just one example of his charitable work through that foundation, charitable work by him and his family, and his whole family was engaged during the event, and it was very, very special to see. And finally, thirdly, I pay tribute to the descendants of those Indians who were taken as indentured labour and transported to Fiji, who have subsequently settled in Australia, and many of whom were awarded given awards on the night for their contribution to Australia. They're, they're descendants of those original members of the Indian diaspora who were sent to Fiji as indentured labour, and they've subsequently settled in Australia, in our country, and they've made a wonderful, wonderful contribution as part of our wonderful Australian Indian diaspora and Fijian Indian diaspora contributions in medicine, in business, in terms of their community work. And I honour their achievements. I honour their service. And during the course of the Remembrance Day, I reflected on what their ancestors must, must think about the contribution they've made to Australia. You put yourself in the position, or try to put yourself in the position of one of the members of those uh, those shipments of indentured labour and the resilience, the courage, the resourcefulness they all demonstrated, what must they think that their descendants are now working in our hospitals as doctors, as specialists, uh, working in our science community, working uh, in, in jobs providing great community service? So I say to each and every one of the recipients of those awards at the Remembrance Day that I attended, you do great honour. You do great honour to your ancestors, and each and every one of you represent the very best of Australian values.